morning everybody and welcome to Sunday morning. For those of you who are still just uh, rubbing the sleep out of your eyes and uh, getting ready for the day, I'm um, down on Nudgee Creek here this morning and uh, you see the old sunken wreck up at the end of the, at the start of the mouth there and the airport in the background and back down to the mouth of the river heading out into Moreton Bay. And uh, it's a, another pleasant, beautiful Queensland morning. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, daylight savings has started in the southern states, so all of the debates and the arguments will start about whether Queensland should or shouldn't have uh, daylight savings, or at least the, um, the uh, Brisbane itself, um, or, you know, southeast Queensland. Um, yeah. No comment on that. It is what it is. Sun comes up each day, goes down each night. And uh, what you do in the middle of it is entirely up to you. And this morning I wanted to to look at the book of Revelation. And over the next um, few weeks, I'm just going to swing the camera around for you and uh, capture big old pelican just... Uh, cruising about his day. As I say, I was just going to do some, some spot jumps through the book of Revelation um, over the next week or so, uh, because the Revelation is, is a fantastic uh, love story, and a lot of people will be shocked by that. Remember, John, Jesus' disciple, who wrote the book of John, three uh, letters, um, also was commissioned, also asked by God, prompted through the Holy Spirit to write the book of Revelation. So the same disciple who wrote the love gospel was asked to write a letter of prophetic and apocalyptic um, warning and, and encouragement to the churches. And the book of Revelation is an encouragement. I mean, I meet so many people who say, oh, I'm so scared of end times or I'm so scared of the book of Revelation, it's so frightening. And I say to them, you're reading it wrong. It's a love letter from God to, to his believers, his followers, to assure us that he will lead us through the difficult times ahead, through these times right now, and for what the things that will come after this. Because you think this is tough now, it'll only get tougher. And I don't say that to scare you. I say that as, as a warning to be ready. This is a great time now to be getting ready. And so the book of Revelation, as John unpacks it, is written in two ways. It's written above and below. That's the way that John sees it. For every action, everything, every bad thing that happens on the earth, God is doing something in heaven on our behalf. Jesus is enacting something on our behalf. You know, it's Jesus that breaks the seals to the scrolls. It's Jesus that explains to John what must happen before his return. And I wanted to start this morning's reading with just the, the simple part of Revelation. In chapter 1, the simple part. There's no simple part to Revelation. The simple part is knowing it's a revelation of Jesus Christ. And it's about Him. Revelation is always about, in about Him. It's not about you and I. It's about the revealing of Christ. And in verse um, 18, or it's last part of verse 17, this is chapter 1, in verse 18, it starts with this, Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I died, but look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and the grave. And he asks John to write down these things you have seen, both the things that are happening now and the things that will come. And it ends, if I can get my big thumbs to move the pages down here. It ends in chapter 21. In verse 12, Jesus says, Look, I am coming soon, bringing my reward with me to repay all the people according to their deeds. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the first, the last, the beginning and the end. In between those two statements, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that can be confusing. It can be scary if you're not looking for Jesus in the leading through those times. It can be frightening. It can be a worry. But Jesus says, I'm the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Do not be afraid in, in chapter 1. 
Do not be afraid. I'm telling you these things so that you can be prepared, so that you can be ready, so that you, you can make your decisions. So my friends, as we do some jumping through the book of Revelation over the next few days, we're going to look at the seven churches first. Then we're going to look at some other things. I, I just want you to be assured that when Jesus says he is coming, he is coming. There's no ifs or buts about that. He's coming. And he doesn't want us to be afraid because he's letting us know what will happen through this journey until the last part of 20, chapter 22, I should say, is realized. He is coming. And he is coming and bringing his reward. And it's a reward language. He's bringing his reward for those who have done according to their deeds. And that reward is for those who have rejected him because they get their choice. And the reward for those who have chosen him because they get their choice. So my friends, my encouragement this morning is to, to get ready to find Jesus in, in everything that you search for. Let's pray together. Father, I want to thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this another day to reflect upon your love, to reflect upon the grace and the mercy that you extend to each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice that gave us the keys to eternity. And help us not to just slap them out of your hand and walk away, Lord. So, Lord, as we turn our hand to our deeds of this day, may they be deeds that glorify and uplift your name. May they be deeds that bring glory and proclamation of the kingdom of heaven. And Lord, we pray as we journey into the book of Revelation over the next few days, next week or so, I just pray that your Holy Spirit guide us and help us to understand the things that you would have us know. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, Sunday is all yours. What you do with it is up to you. But... Um, yeah, you can find a spot like this or similar to it. I encourage you to go for it. Until we see each other tomorrow morning, take care and God bless. And I'll see you then.